Well, it's not the type of vessel that may immediately come to mind when you think about spending a vacation cruising the high seas. But a Halifax-based company is using a tall sailing ship for a series of weekly cruises up and down the west coast. NTV's Don Bradshaw has the story. Cornerbrook has a long history of hosting cruise ships from around the world, but the arrival of the vessel Caledonia this week marks a new era for the city's port. The Halifax-based Caledonia is a tall ship that beginning today will offer weekly sailings around the west coast of Newfoundland. But unlike most cruise liners that spend just a few hours in port, the Caledonia will use Cornerbrook as its home base for its Newfoundland cruises, dropping off and picking up passengers for each of its weekly sailings. And with a maximum passenger capacity of about 70 people, this tall ship doesn't bring the thousands of passengers to the city that other cruise liners carry. But purser Christy Dempsey says it's that difference that makes this type of cruise appealing to many vacationers. With the larger cruise ships, you're one of 2,500 people. Um, here on board, you're, you know, one of 30 to 70, something like that. And uh, the crew are able to interact, you're able to get hands-on experience. You can basically tailor your vacation to what you want to do. According to parent company Canadian Sailing Expeditions, people are coming from around the world to sail on the Caledonia during its time in Newfoundland. Ms. Dempsey says the main attractions appear to be both the location and the type of vessel involved. I would say the type of person is definitely somebody that wants a different experience. Again, they don't want that box cut all-inclusive resort or, or just, uh, you know, the, the cruise ship thing. They want to be able to do something different. They want to experience small ports. They want to be able to, to interact with local people as well as the people that, they're working, or that are working for them. And while the larger cruise ships come equipped with casinos, nightclubs, and theaters, entertainment on board the Caledonia is often a little more hands-on and could even include the opportunity to assist the crew in actually sailing the ship. We, uh, we try to get them involved in as much as we can, actually. Um, they can certainly take kayaks on their own or bicycles and go on shore or, or just kayak around the local area. Um, personally, we like to get them involved in pulling lines and raising sails and, and helping out as much as they can. We can always use a spare set of hands. Um, we had a seven and a nine-year-old that helped us fold napkins down in the dining room, and uh, we had an 82-year-old fellow go up the rig. The Caledonia will spend the next few days in and around the Grossmore National Park area before launching its weekly sailings on Sunday. For NTV News, Don Bradshaw, Cornerbrook. You may